Good afternoon, I'm Allie Reed. We interrupt your regular programming to bring you some breaking news from the University of New Haven. We are getting reports that there is a male on campus near the south campus with what appears to be a gun. We're not sure exactly what type of gun, but they have a shelter in place right now having everyone in lockdown. Schools of the area are in lockdown. That includes Notre Dame High School. This information all coming in right now. We want to get you to Karen Grava. She is a spokesperson for the University of New Haven. We have her on the phone. Karen, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. What can you tell us that's going on on campus right now? Um, the West Haven Police received a report of an Asian male at a local grocery store near campus with what appeared to be a rifle. And that prompted police to uh, ask everyone on campus to shelter in place. Which means everyone is remaining inside the entire school is on lockdown, is that correct? That's correct. Did you receive several calls alerting you to this male on campus with a gun or by, near campus? Well, I'm sure that the police received multiple calls. So who has been responding to this? Uh, our police have responded, but the West Haven police were the first on the scene. I'm not sure if there are additional police agencies represented. We have been hearing reports that an arrest has been made. Have you heard that? Uh, no. And the description, again, all you can provide us with is just an Asian male? Right, with what appeared to be a rifle. And how did you get the message out to students on campus that they needed to go into lockdown? Uh, several ways. We immediately put it on our Twitter and Facebook accounts. And we also, we have a program called Everbridge that sends um, messages to cell phones, office phones, and computers. Um, and that was a message that was sent. So, so everyone got an email and a cell phone text message. So and text message. For students on campus, faculty on campus listening right now, what do you want them to know? At this moment, we are in lockdown, but everyone has been safe, and we'd like to keep it that way, so please observe the lockdown. And how about parents, concerned parents who might want to drive over to campus? It's not a good time to try to enter the campus. The police have a lot of streets blocked off. Um, we are keeping people safe inside our buildings, and it's better not to add more people to that. Okay, and we understand that there are other schools in nearby that are also in lockdown as a result. Uh, Notre Dame High School, I'm hearing, as well as a, an elementary school. Can you confirm these reports? I can't. I can tell you Notre Dame High School is located adjacent to our campus. So would your also school be quite working near with to them? the shop, right? Okay, so would your school then be communicating with them in an event that something like this is happening? I'm sure our police department is in communication with them. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, we were hearing attention parents of Forest and Kerrigan, that Forest Elementary School and Kerrigan Intermediate School are also on a shelter-in-place status due to a suspicious person being sh spotted over in that area. So those two schools are nearby uh, University of New Haven. Um, again, University... University of New Haven in West Haven right now is on lockdown after there was a report of an Asian man carrying around what appeared to be a gun near South Campus. There is a shelter in place on campus, campus-wide shelter in place, which means that all students, all faculty there need to stay inside. The school is communicating, as you just heard Karen, a spokesperson for the university, say they're communicating with students via Twitter, so continue to check the University of New Haven's official Twitter page. Uh, we at WTNH.com also have a Twitter page at WTNH, so check there, check online. We will, of course, stay on top of the story. We have crews there on the scene right now, so we will continue to bring you the latest, but the most important important piece of information right now is that if you are on campus that you remain inside do not come outside and if you're near campus do the same thing we'll of course keep you updated